Innovation takes many forms. Ideas that transform how we think about the world, devices that reinvent the way we live, or methods that make breakthrough discoveries possible. Conventional wisdom suggests innovation is more likely to emerge when creative thinkers have the maximum freedom to reimagine what is possible. For scientists, this often means chipping away at fundamental questions in relative isolation from the rest of society. It's only later do innovations from this diffuse more widely. Given the amazing accomplishments resulting from this approach, it's easy to appreciate why research cultures often promote an environment where curious and clever people work unconstrained and unburdened from the direct responsibility for solving societal problems. This idea that scientific independence is essential to the process of innovation drives many scientists, funders, and leaders within and outside of science to safeguard intellectual freedoms. But a side effect of this approach can be a form of separation of science from society, which may hinder the ability of science to address some of society's most urgent and complex challenges. When disconnected from scientific processes and results, users of science, like policymakers or community members, are less able to access or even less likely to trust scientific knowledge that could be beneficial. When considering the novel and enormous challenges the 21st century presents, it's imperative more than ever before for science to more meaningfully connect with society and contribute to society's big challenges, while also retaining and ideally enhancing its tremendous innovation generating capacity, as well as the freedom of thought and expression embedded within that. In exploring how to meet this challenge, a different, more interactive and collaborative way of doing science is becoming more widespread. More scientists are now questioning convention and integrating their science with society through collaborations with individuals that have the potential and often necessary expertise needed to generate innovation relevant for societal problem solving. This can include collaboration in identifying questions, determining methods, collecting data, interpreting results, and sharing conclusions. While scientists using this approach are still driven by scientific curiosity and a desire for discovery, they are also motivated to see their science contribute more directly to action and solutions. While more scientists are engaging with society, we still know relatively little about how these alternative ways of doing science compare to more conventional approaches. Nevertheless, early glimpses show how different modes advance both science and practice in new, innovative, and exciting ways. Learning more about innovation in this context requires many different kinds of scientists and scholars working together with users, funders, and beneficiaries of science, and asking lots of questions like, what are the types and ranges of innovation in both science and its application that emerge from research approaches that are more interactive with society? Do different approaches to research yield different kinds of innovation? If so, why? Do different approaches to research and resulting innovations help society better tackle 21st century problems? If so, how? These are big questions, and we welcome you to come learn along with us. After all, innovation starts by asking questions.